Hello, welcome to Jump Cloud. This video is designed to help answer the question as to why admins should be using both password management and single sign-on in their respective environments. First, let's get started with some definitions. What is password management? A password manager is an app installed on a user's device that allows them to securely store passwords and automatically fills login information on the websites that they visit via a browser extension. Before password managers, users had to either manually write down a password or memorize it. Password managers help users avoid bad passwords or forgotten passwords. Password managers first came onto the scene in the late 2000s and are currently going through a boom in popularity due to the fact that we are dealing with more passwords and logins than ever before. Password managers also introduce enterprise features for admins to allow them to securely share credentials and manage user access. Now, let's learn more about SSO, or single sign-on. Single sign-on is an authentication method that allows a user's identity to authenticate into a site or a service. Sample requests and responses serve in place of username and password combinations. A user's identity can replace other logins entirely. Administrators can quickly onboard slash offboard users across several apps and services by simply managing the user account in their directory service. All of this translates to an improvement in experiences by both users and admins. This also improves the security stance of an organization by shrinking the potential attack surface to as little as one single login to get into all their services. Secure that one login, you select all the services it's attached to. Now with all that information, you may be asking, why would I need both? Well, there are some limitations to single sign-on. The first of these limitations is the single sign-on tax for some vendors. In many cases, a vendor will require premium subscription levels for all end users of that account for that vendor. So if a single company has 100 users for this, this means they will have to upgrade 100 users to probably with their highest tier licensing, which can lead to thousands of dollars extra per month to achieve single sign-on with that application. In addition to the SSO tax, there's also the issue where SSO is not necessarily appropriate for every use case. The most common of these is an account that has to be shared across multiple users. Implementing single sign-on with a shared account simply will break the experience for most cases. Finally, and most importantly, one of the biggest issues with single sign-on is the fact that many legacy or line of business apps do not support single sign-on at all. Many small to medium-sized businesses completely rely upon these apps to run their business and make their money to keep their business running. And if single sign-on was to be implemented or attempt to be implemented on this, it simply would not work. This is particularly an issue for managed service providers who support customers who rely upon these legacy or line of business apps. And they are oftentimes contractually obligated to support them and are unable to do so if single sign-on was attempted to be deployed. With these limitations in mind, admins should consider taking a combined approach and implement single sign-on and password management side by side. With both solutions available, single sign-on can be used to provide seamless and secure access to apps and resources whenever possible. And a password manager can serve to fill the gaps where SSO is not feasible. JumpCloud can help you achieve that goal by authenticating your users to any type of account regardless of the authentication method required. This is possible because JumpCloud offers both single sign-on and password management capabilities that are available to users right out of the box. Thank you for joining today. To learn more about single sign-on and password management, go to jumpcloud.com and try it for free today.